I have lots to cover today, so we are going to jump right in and skip the intro. Remember to like, subscribe and share to help the channel grow. The first article is about Jussie Smollett. I can't read off the nasty things he was doing with the guys that helped him in his hoax, but I'm placing the article on the screen for you to read. Here are things I think are safe to report without getting a ban. Smollett, 39, is charged with six counts of felony disorderly conduct for making what prosecutors say was a false police report about the alleged attack. The Class 4 felony carries a prison sentence of up to three years, but experts have said if Smollett is convicted he likely would be placed on probation. Some legal experts say the only chance Smollett has of beating charges that he lied to the police is by telling jurors his version of what happened. Smollett's attorneys have claimed that it was a real attack, and that Osendero, and his brother, Ola Bingo, made up the story about a hoax then asked Smollett for $1 million each to not testify against him at trial. In my opinion, he and the other two guys faked the entire thing, and he got caught. Guilty as charged. The second article is about New York City's new mandates. So kids 5 years old and up must have double vexed, and all private sector workers will need to get the vax as well. Italy is also doing a lockdown of people that don't have the vax, and have you heard what is happening in Australia? They have prison-style camps for people that are not vexed. In my opinion, people need to stand up to these mandates before it is too late. I do not think it is right for government to force people to get that cough syrup if they don't want it. What happened to stay in for two weeks and everyone will be fine? Lastly, it turns out that Kamala Harris staffers are leaving at a very high rate. Well they are saying that she is extra mean. I can't use the exact word here because my video will get flagged, but you can read it on the article on the screen. In my opinion, this doesn't surprise me one bit. Of course she is going to use her power to the fullest. This is the first time in history we have had a woman as vice president, and we can clearly see why it was not a good idea. It makes me laugh that these same staffers were in love with her and now look, you guys get what you deserve for supporting someone that is not qualified to be in that position. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.